and as I, and I must tell the people of Kenya, please take care of your families. Those are the only people you can rely on. Friends abandoned us. Business associates betrayed us. But family will always be there for you. Welcome back to Celebs Watch 211. Kenya's Deputy President, that is His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa, Elias Rigiji, has been impeached as of October 17, 2024, and in less than 24 hours, he has already been replaced by none other than Kithure Kindiki, who is the current Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Administration of the Republic of Kenya. The news of Rigadi Gashagwa's replacement was posted by none other than Ann Waiguru, who is the current governor of Kirinyaga County, as well as the chairperson of the Council of Governors. Ann Waiguru took to her Twitter handle and shared this photo of the president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, and Kidure Kindiki with a caption that reads, my brother, professor at Kindiki Kithure, my sincere congratulations to you. History has placed an honor and responsibility accorded to only a few. May God guide you and His Excellency at William Samoy Ruto as you lead this great country to achieve its tremendous potential. To those that supported me for this position, I thank you. We must now dedicate our efforts to building a better Kenya under the leadership of His Excellency William Samoy Ruto and His Excellency Abraham Kithure Kindiki, hashtag Mbele Ikosawa at Kenya Governors. And another thing to note in line with this impeachment is that the website for the office of the Deputy President of Kenya has been down and if you visit the website it says the site is under maintenance. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Also, let me know what your thoughts are regarding this replacement of Rigiji. Do you think this was a bit rushed or that's the standard procedure? Nili kuambia hii siasa peleka namna hii polepole usifanye sana namna ile itaharibika. Unaona mimi nakaa nyuma ya Uhuru Kenyatta na jipanga hapo polepole polepole polepole. I know what I'm doing my friend. Unafikiri nikilete fujo kwa huyu jamaa ata ata <laughs> Ala Eh yeah, my friend tuendelee namna hiyo Eh yeah. na tumesoma kutoka historia Tumesoma kutoka historia Hata nyaye walikaa nyumba nyuma ya baba ya huyu jamaa akakuwa kitu Eh yeah. huyu rafiki yangu mwingine alikuja akalete fujo hapo kwa kibaki sasa yeye hako mstuni that the deputy president who stands here on trial by the senate would assume that he was elected to represent the interests of a certain region whereas the constitution is clear is elected by the whole country he's got no area to protect under the old constitution the president had to be elected from a constituency a vice president had to be elected from a constituency as a member of parliament this constitution has no similar provisions. And now when you come to the functions of the deputy president, and I think this is extremely important in the kind of relationship that there should be between the president and the deputy president, it says so in the following words which I need to read for clarity, uh, in terms of the deputy uh, president and those are found in article 147 that he shall be the supreme principal assistant deputized for the president in the execution of the uh, president functions and also he may be assigned duties by the president the kind of symbiotic relationship that should exist between the president and the deputy president, pre president is underlined in this constitution. Now, it is uncontestable, and I think this is the main, the, 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 the issue that I want to deal with uh, in some detail. It is uncontestable from the record that you have, even from the deputy president, that the words he is accused to have uttered where he alleges that Kenya is like a company existing of shareholders 
does, does not sit with the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Kenya is not a republic that is established on the basis of shareholding. It's a republic of, of citizens. So when a deputy president talks about taking the East interest of what were Morema, for whatever that would mean, it is not in compliance with... I submit respectfully that the case regarding the proposal to remove the deputy president from office by impeachment may appear to put the deputy president on trial, but that is only in the most technical sense of this process. At a more significant level, what is on trial throughout these proceedings is the resilience and steadfastness of our constitution, our constitutional institutions of checks and balances, and actually their capacity to withstand any form of waves and pressures. That is what is truly on trial. His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa beseeches this house to keep in mind that we have a constitution a constitutional order and a constitutional democracy to protect as we conduct these proceedings and as we make decisions in these proceedings. He asks you that at the end of this exercise, let our constitution. I want to thank my children, Kevin Gashagua and Dr. Keith, that even when state agencies came for me with the brutal efficiency, you never abandoned me. My family, I will ever cherish you for standing with us. And, as I, and I must tell the people of Kenya, please take care of your families. Those are the only people you can rely on. Friends abandoned us. Business associates betrayed us, but Sisi tuna imani kubwa sana na mahakama zetu. Our judiciary is very professional and I have no doubt in my mind that our eminent judges will protect and uphold the constitution the rule of law and always make sure that the will of the people is sovereign. Natukiwa, that is the way a good country runs. So what wa Kenya wakona imani sana. And they have faith that our courts of law will protect and uphold our constitution. And most importantly, always protect the will of the people because the people are supreme. Natu Kifuata here will have a good country. Irrespective of your idea that